how is that possible? Because only one in 500 incoming objects would be aligned so well. They're not coming from NASA. They're being captured by other independent astronomers who are closely observing this extraordinary thing. And many are desperately wondering, what is it doing? What actually is it? You've probably already seen my previous videos about it that are genuinely blowing your mind. But now, what if I told you that an object from another star system, definitively an alien object one way or another, I'm always emphasizing this, whatever it truly is, it's already confirmed alien, whether it's a rock, space debris, a spacecraft, or who who knows what the heck? So it's moving in a way that gravity alone absolutely cannot explain. And now we're observing something else. In the newest pictures, something else is giving it an extra mysterious push. And this push, incredibly, stays perfectly constant no matter how far away it travels from the sun. We've discussed this extensively in my previous videos. The sun, of course, generates tremendous energy and solar winds that can theoretically give objects a push, but the further away something gets from the sun, that force should naturally change, right? But now it doesn't change. It remains constant. We've talked about Harvard professor Dr. Avi Loeb suggesting these could be jets like spacecraft propulsion jets, but that's not entirely it or not all of it. There's something else I need to tell you urgently. What if I told you that the strange teardrop glow surrounding it, especially what we examined closely in my last video just hours ago, where we compared it to shining a flashlight into fog. You can't see the light bulb itself, but you clearly see the fog glowing around it. What if that mysterious glow might not be gas at all? What if that is actually a swarm of thousands, maybe even trillions of small objects flying with it through space? We have to break this down carefully. This is highly fascinating stuff. So please, grab a coffee or something else. I'm having one right now. Sit down and digest what I'm about to reveal to you. And if you can, give this video an early like and click the notification button to support my channel. Thank you so much. Cheers for doing that. The teardrop mystery of Interstellar Object 3 I slash ATLAS baffles us day by day, with each new picture revealing more puzzles. In November 2025, basically just two days ago, astronomers observed three I slash ATLAS TLAS after it passed the sun. It was at perihelion when it was completely hidden from Earth's view. We couldn't observe what it was doing during that critical period. And then they saw something strange, something beyond the already strange phenomena they'd already documented. The 13 anomalies I discuss in another video. It's absolutely crazy. They observed a teardrop-shaped glow stretching towards the sun. We still have the anti-tail phenomenon. It's as if the object possesses a long, sun-facing extension. You especially see it clearly in this image. And this image isn't AI-created or manipulated. This is genuinely 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. This is the actual interstellar object. And just for comparison, I'll show you an image of another normal comet. Do you see the profound difference? I certainly do. That teardrop, what we're calling the teardrop glow, is extraordinarily unusual because comets normally develop tails stretching away from the sun. Now 3i slash A-T-L-A-S is stretching towards the sun and simultaneously away from it. And that was only the beginning. Wait for this. We're dealing, as I mentioned, at the beginning with a push that absolutely shouldn't exist. NASA's JPL Horizons tracking system has noticed something critically important. You've probably seen the trajectory graphs showing where 3i slash ATLAS is traveling. We discussed the mysterious change in direction when it was at perihelion and how it's now heading towards Jupiter. Check my videos about that too. They noticed 3i slash ATLAS is receiving a tiny extra push that does not originate from gravity. This is technically called non-gravitational acceleration. If you're wondering what that means, I'll explain it in simple terms so you truly understand how significant this is. The sun pulls everything inward with gravity, but 3 I slash ATLAS is simultaneously being pushed slightly outward by something else entirely. That push is extremely small, only about 0.00002 of the sun's gravitational force. That's one part in 50,000. It's not huge numerically, but it's large enough to matter significantly. Because here's the genuine weird part. Listen carefully. The push weakens in exactly the same way that gravity weakens. Both decrease with the square of the distance from the sun. This means the ratio stays exactly perfectly the same no matter where 3 I slash ATLAS is in its orbit. That's absolutely bizarre. Natural forces do not usually match the sun's gravity this perfectly. Is this our 14th anomaly? I would almost say definitively yes. Natural forces, meaning normal comets, do not exhibit this behavior. Their acceleration does not match 
the sun's gravity this precisely. So is something intentionally imitating that gravitational pattern? Now I know what question you want to ask. I have the same question and I researched it thoroughly. What direction is this mysterious push? Of course that's crucially important, right? The push is directed away from the sun. In simple terms, gravity pulls it inward. Something else is actively pushing it outward. The push is small but constant relative to gravity. To make the mathematical modeling easier, scientists treat it as if the sun has slightly less mass when calculating 3i slash ATLAS's motion. Of course it doesn't actually. That's just a mathematical trick, not physical reality. But they say it helps them model the motion accurately. And here comes a fascinating idea that Harvard professor Dr. Avi Loeb has outlined. Imagine interstellar object 3. I slash ATLAS is not traveling alone. Not talking about alien beings, necessarily. Just imagine it's traveling, accompanied by a swarm of tiny objects. Maybe numerous probes accompanying it. Who knows? We still want to look for proof that this is hopefully natural. Well, it's definitely not normal. I shouldn't say that. Natural is the better word. So if it's traveling with a swarm of tiny objects, what could these objects possibly be? A cloud, a cluster, these hypothetical objects do not experience the strange push. They only follow normal gravity. They stay slightly closer to the sun than 3i slash ATLAS because 3i slash ATLAS is being pushed backward. Does that explain the teardrop shape we're observing? If they started their journey together, 3i slash ATLAS gets pushed backward, it falls slightly behind. The swarm stays closer to the sun. So 3i slash ATLAS is here. The swarm is here, closer to the sun. Is that the anti-tail we're seeing? This would be a plausible explanation. This would create the distinctive teardrop shape visible in the images. We definitely see it not only in one image, but in numerous images consistently. A simple explanation would be three. I slash A T L A S moves ahead slightly, the swarm lags behind towards the sun, and on camera it appears as a teardrop pointing sunward. What do you think? Let's simplify the numbers. The sun is currently 270 million kilometers away from 3i slash A T L A S, a shift of 0 0.00002 of that distance, that's the non-gravitational fraction, equals approximately 54,000 kilometers. So that means the hypothetical swarm would appear 54,000 kilometers closer to the sun than 3i slash ATLAS itself, if it's staying behind. If we measure that on the sky, that's roughly 0.7 arc minutes. And the numbers match perfectly. That's the exact size of the sunward teardrop spike in the actual real images. Is that the explanation? It still doesn't explain why 3i slash ATLAS itself is being pushed. And why does the swarm consistently point towards the sun? Well, as long as interstellar object 3, I slash ATLAS, continues receiving that tiny, mysterious push, and the swarm members behind it do not lose mass or evaporate. Because if they vented gas, they would also experience a push. The swarm will always point towards the sun. Narrow down to meet 3, I slash ATLAS at perihelion, and maintain the same shape even as 3, I slash ATLAS, moves away. And this is exactly what we've observed. The teardrop has never changed its angle. It stayed almost identical before and after closest approach at perihelion. So how big could that swarm actually be? Here's the shocking part. Listen closely. If the swarm is big, I don't mean in total mass, but in sheer number of tiny pieces, its collective surface area could be absolutely enormous. I'll give you an example in simple numbers. Imagine a trillion pieces. A trillion is a lot. Together, they're weighing only 0.1% of three I slash ATLAS's mass, but they're providing a surface area that's 100 times larger. This means 99% of the sunlight would bounce off this swarm and not the main object, not three I slash ATLAS itself. So the coma we see, that bright glowing envelope, could actually be this swarm and not gas at all. And this fits perfectly with the July 21st Hubble image. 99% of the light comes from the glow, like shining a flashlight in fog, where you can't see the the bulb but clearly see the fog glowing, and only a tiny fraction of light comes from the nucleus. This is exactly what a swarm model would predict. So if this teardrop we're observing really comes from a swarm of objects, what are those objects? Where did they originate? Are they fragments of rock, pieces of ice, dust clumps that don't evaporate? Are they something artificial, or are they something entirely unknown? This thing isn't from our solar system. Maybe we have to comp
completely change our understanding of interstellar objects. This is only the third confirmed interstellar object. We genuinely don't know. But one thing is absolutely clear. The motion of three, I slash ATLAS, cannot be explained by gravity alone. And the shape of its glow strongly suggests it might not be traveling alone through space. This mystery is far from solved. <laughs>